If you run into a situation where the Create Lids tool isn't able to create all of the necessary lids for you automatically, you'll have to manually close off the inlets and outlets in your system before running an analysis. This process is very straightforward, but there are a few rules you must follow. Let me show you how using this opening here. This outlet was created using a spline, and the Create Lids feature won't let me select this face here, even though it is technically a planar face. So we'll have to close this off manually. And this outlet contains two faces, so we'll have to close this off manually as well. Let's start with the spline-shaped outlet. This is the easier of the two since it does in fact contain a planar face. I'll start a new sketch on the outer face. And use Convert Entities to convert the inside edge to Sketch Entities. Next, I'll launch the Extrude feature. I want to make sure to select the mid-plane option here. This is very important. The blind option will create a disjointed body between the lid and the rest of the part. And this will cause an invalid contact, which we'll see later on when we run check geometry. Simply put, Flow won't be able to apply boundary conditions to the surface when there's an invalid contact. And so we'll have to go back and fix the lid again. So I'll make sure to use mid-plane. The other important option here is make sure you uncheck the Merge Results checkbox. This will keep the lid as a separate body from the rest of the part. Finally, I'll enter a thickness and click the check to create the lid. Next, let's look at this double-faced opening. To create a lid here, I'll have to first create a new reference plane to sketch on since there isn't a single planar face that will work. I'll create a plane that's parallel to the part at the outermost edge of the outlet. Now I can repeat the process we saw just a moment ago. Start a new sketch on the plane. Use Convert Entities to convert the interior edge. And create a mid-plane extrusion from it. I'll make sure it's thick enough so that it closes off the part. And I'll be sure to uncheck the Merge Results checkbox. When I click the green check, the lids are complete. 